Tell them, sister, no to Tenobo, no to Atiku, no to APC, PDP. Aisha, yourself will react. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. The Nigerian woman activist Aisha Yasufu has reacted to a tweet sent by one of her followers on Twitter declaring support for P2B. The presidential candidate under the platform of the Labour Party, LP. Aisha, who is one of the supporters of P2B, declared her full support for the presidential candidate in one of her tweets a few days ago. The 2023 presidential election is full of competition between the two popular parties, the People's Democratic Party and the All Progressive Congress. Bola Ahmed Tinubu is one of the strongest parents followed by Atiku. Abubakar from the People's Democratic Party and P2B representing the Labour Party LP. Nigerians are now confused about who to support between these three strong presidential candidates. Aisha Yusufu reacted to the tweet of her followers saying that they should say no to Tinubu and Atiku's presidency, not minding whether the party is L Progressive Congress or People's Democratic Party PDP. Why she remains strong in supporting the former governor of Anambra State, Peter B. Aisha Yusufu's post goes thus. Tell them, sister, no to Tinubu, no, no to Tinu, Tinutiku, no to APC PDP. And she was responding to a, a post that goes thus. Do not let PDP gaslight you with the silly weak lines of a vote for PO is a vote for APC. They played the same script in 2019 and they failed woefully. The principal should have led the position leader went to. Okay, um, the thing is, anybody who is coming out to say a vote for P2B is a vote for EPC, like I don't understand. Well, whatever be the case, don't allow them to gaslight you. Sincerely, some people, they have the school of thought that, or they belong to the school of thought that voting for P2B is a waste of vote. That they want to first of all get APC out of the way by installing PDP. And I'm asking, when PDP is now installed, what do you now do? Do you now start looking for another bigger party to get a PDP out of the way when they do not perform well? No. We have been doing this thing the same way for a very long time. We will see, we'll see party, we'll say, let's pick one of the lesser evils. This time we'll say no to any of the evils at all. We are not allergic to good governance. Nigerian people make an pick person when no get any any evil attached to a name <laughs> okay anyone who thinks that a massive support for p2b is a tribal thing and not based on his competence should tell able to support people like rocha sokorocha or audio zokado for president you will see that no one will leave his own stead let alone voting exactly p2b is not followed because he's evil p2b is followed because he's better than all the candidates in the field now go get your pvc we know they are planning to rig this election but Nigerian youths are planning to vote so massively that their rigging will be apparent and scandalous, that it will rise up and take back our country. China has already overtaken the world with her youth being at the forefront of development, and old establishment politicians are trying to divide us with the tired hopes, tropes of ethnic politics. Nigerian youths know that Peter is better. Peter is our escape from old politicians. Go and get a PVC. Eight hours wait for PVC is better far better than eight excruciating years of pain at the hands of the old block. Well stated, I don't see anything here. She has just nailed it up. This is what I call making sure you drive your point home, but you're still stating your opinion. Okay, on this note, you've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.